For years, the residents of Havana have struggled with crime, especially at night. The lack of proper lighting turned the area into a hotspot for criminal activities with many residents becoming victims of robberies. Florence Yanguvichita, who has been a resident for over 10 years, expressed her gratitude and optimism about the project. She noted that it has never felt safe to walk around, especially since some people have to leave for work early in the morning. Today, as we're saying, people are trying to do our, uh, our leaders are trying to bring us developments such as lights. In future, it really affected us. As you can see, this place is a gambling place, and it's where everyone is passing when going to work each and every day. Some are starting early, like 3, 3.30, early mornings, and then it's never safe for us. But today we're so grateful and we will wait for a lot of developments to come in the future. Another resident, Tobias Leadkill, highlighted the challenges they face due to the lack of electricity, noting that it impacts their daily lives and their children's education. <laughs> We want electricity in our houses for our kids to study at night. Right now we have to buy candles and torch batteries from Chinese shops. We need electricity to use fridges and TVs so our kids can watch. We've been struggling. You wake up to hear that someone was stabbed during the night or that phones were stolen and people were fighting in the dark. But with the lights, we hope things will improve. Speaking at the ceremony, Minister of Urban and Rural Development Erastus Utoni highlighted the positive impact of providing electricity will have on the residents' daily lives. Utoni stated that this will ensure decent livelihoods and facilitate economic activities. When the electricity is provided here, You'll be now connected to the electricity. You can buy your fridge. And then you, yes, you can buy your fridge. And then you put your meat in the fridge. And then you go and sell it at the open market. That is the aim. The High Mass Lights Project is part of the city's efforts to improve living conditions in the informal settlements and create safer environments for residents. In addition to the installation at the Havana dumping site, High Mass Lights will also be installed at Korea Hub Soccer Field and Ehambo Danihale, among others.